Hey everyone, this is Alex or Polymomo Tea, and today I have a video showing you how to make these cute little citrus slices out of polymer clay and resin. And here I have an orange, a lemon, and a lime. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So to make the center part of the citrus slice, I'm taking two popsicle sticks and I'm rolling white clay in between them to make it completely flat. And I'm taking any circular cap I can find around my house and I'm using that to make a circle cut. Now I'm flattening some orange clay for the outline border. And I'm cutting a thin strip. And the thin strip of orange clay is going to wrap around the white clay. So using a dotting tool, I'm carving out six little triangles and it's pretty much like a pizza that's a little bit spread out and this is gonna be the template to cut out for the little internal orange slices. Using my blade, I'm carefully carving out the orange slices pizza shapes and this will take a long time, but it's well worth it. And this is how my orange slice looks like, all carved out. And I even carved out a lemon and a lime slice as well. And now they're ready to bake. So here are my orange, lime, and lemon slices all baked. And this is a totally optional effect, but I baked some teardrop shaped tan clay as little seeds for my slices. And I also baked a face, which are dot eyes and a lime mouth. So I'm putting on my orange slice on the back of tape, and it's pretty much the same as a backless charm. And I'm taking some resin and some color pigment to make it orange. And I'm dripping the orange resin into the little openings of my orange slice. Then I'm going to add some seeds in every other slice. And once the seeds are added, I'm going to let it cure. Once cured, I'm going to take it off the tape. But my orange slice had a few air bubbles, so I'm filling those air bubbles in with some more resin and letting that cure again. Now I'm going to add another layer of resin to dome the top of the orange slice. Yeah. 
And before curing it, I'm gonna add my dot eyes and line smile to my orange slice to give it the cute face, and then I'm gonna let it cure. Once completely cured, this is what it should look like. Here I have my orange slice. And as you can see, it's translucent. You can see the seeds perfectly. And it looks just as well with the lime and the lemon as well. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I can't wait to see what citrus slices you guys make.